Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today we're going to be making beer can chicken. Beer can chicken is one of those barbecue classics, and the concept is really simple. We're cooking a whole bird upright with a beer can in the cavity. Now why is the beer can in the cavity? Well, there's a couple of things going on there. As that beer gets hot, it kind of evaporates into the bird so you get an extra flavor agent and some moisture added to the meat. There's any number of ways to season your bird for this process, and I won't tell you that any of them are wrong, but let's jump right into how we're gonna do it today. We're working with about a four and a half pound bird here today, and there's not much we need to do to prepare it, but what we are gonna do is get underneath this skin so that we can get some seasoning under there. Now, a lot of times you'll see people only seasoning the outside of the skin, and you want your skin seasoned too, for sure, but you can get a lot more flavor into this bird if you'll loosen the skin and put some rub underneath there. Now, some of this excess fat we can get rid of. We don't need all of that. You are gonna tear the skin a little bit to get to the legs, but that'll go back into place later. All right, that should allow us to access the meat. So let's go ahead and talk about our rub. Now let's talk a little about the flavor profile for our cook today. We're using a hoppy wheat beer from our friends over at Central Standard Brewing called Girlfriend. Now the notes you're gonna pick up on this beer are some citrus and some mild hops, and we're gonna complement those with a couple different rubs. Plowboy's Fin and Feather has some citrus as well as some rosemary, which is really gonna go nice with that beer. And then we're gonna go with some classic barbecue flavor from Plowboy's Yardbird Rub. And I'm just gonna do equal parts of these rubs. So we'll get a few tablespoons of each. And let's go ahead and get this on the bird. All right, so once we get the flesh seasoned, we can pull that skin back on top. And then of course, we're gonna get a little bit in the cavity as well. And then we'll go ahead and season the skin. Now you might notice that our beer can is a little bit large for roasting a chicken today, and that's okay, because we have a really cool tool that we're gonna use, this beer can roasting pan and a canister, we can actually fill this with beer, put some herbs in there, whatever else you want, aromatics. I think we'll do some garlic today. And then we'll go ahead and place the chicken on top of here. Now, as the chicken cooks, the pan is going to catch all the juices, which is going to prevent all those flare-ups that you normally get when you just put a chicken on top of a can inside your grill. All right, so I'm gonna fill our canister, oh, about two-thirds to three-quarters of the way full. I want to add a sprig of rosemary to this. Do a crushed clove of garlic. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of lemon peel as well. This is going to give it some sweetness as well as a little more citrus aromatic. I'm going to go place this canister in the grill to warm up. And this is an important step because if you start with cold beer and you put a cold bird on top of it, it's going to stay nice and cold in the middle and it's not going to cook as well. The outside's cooking, but the inside is cold. So what we do is we warm the beer up and we start with warm beer inside from the beginning. Oh, all those aromas are already coming out of there. And it smells fantastic. All right, we got our canister in place. We're gonna place the chicken on top of the canister. Just gonna make sure that these legs are forward so this is sitting upright and everything can cook nice and evenly. And then one last thing, just to keep these wings tucked in and not get them too overcooked, we're gonna pull those back. That's nice and tight. All right, we're ready to go on the grill. We'll be cooking the chicken today at 350 degrees on the Yoder Smokers YS1500 pellet grill. 
and we're running a 50-50 combination of cherry and pecan pellets. But it took about two and a half hours at 350 degrees for us to bring this bird to an internal temperature of 165 degrees, which is right where we want it. Now it's hot out of the pit right now, and the thing I want to do is glaze it with some barbecue sauce so that barbecue sauce can tack up while it's nice and hot. Today we're going to be saucing with a new barbecue sauce from our buddy Andy over at Smoke on Wheels. Uh, this is a Kansas City bootleg. It's a bourbon infused barbecue sauce and it's really delicious. Now I tried this out with pork ribs and beef ribs this past weekend and it was awesome so I'm stoked to try it on some chicken as well. All right, I'm just gonna brush all surfaces with a layer of barbecue sauce. And like I said, this thing is super hot right now. So this sauce is gonna tack up really nicely. We'll just give it about five minutes to sit on there. All right, so here's our bird. We're gonna go ahead and take it apart. These ought to come off really easy. Yeah, and that breast will pretty much just peel right out of there. Why don't we get some slices of our breast here so we can see how the inside looks. Super tender. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. And you can see there's still juice coming out of that. Nice moist meat. Let's have a taste. Mm. That's delicious. It's super tender. Uh, I love Andy's new barbecue sauce. It's fantastic. You know, I'm getting a little bit of that citrus coming through, just a little bit of beer too, but it's not overwhelming. So, you know, I think this is a really great jumping off point if you've never given beer can chicken a, a shot before. Or if you're a beer can veteran, maybe this is a new flavor profile you want to give a try. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.